Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon Training Team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to create this flat contact patch that cars have in the spot where the wheel is touching the road. Let's begin with the basics of this technique. It's very simple. Let me create a torus and uh, I'm just going to align it to the X axis. What we are going to use is the FFD deformer. And uh, the FFD, when you apply it to an object, what you could do is increase the segments. Of course, you can always make it as big as you want it to be. So it just overlaps the object ever so slightly. And then you go to the FFD, which is a deformer, but you can move its points. So go to points mode, go select some points. And by moving or scaling these points, you are moving and scaling the geometry underneath. So you're creating this deformation that you want. If I take now my torus and tell it to rotate, you will see that the patch rotates with it. So if it's a simple case like this, it's fairly easy to solve. You create a null, you put the torus in the null, providing it's in the center, and you apply the FFD not as a child, but as a sibling. Now, if you rotate the torus or the wheel, then this is going to rotate. So this is the premise, but here is where we need to do a little adjustment. This over here is the tire that is rolling on the surface and doesn't have the deformation. What I want to do is apply this deformation only on the tire. So I can't make it a sibling of something. I need to actually make it a child of this wheel because I want the whole wheel to animate using the null. Otherwise my rig may become too complex. So let's go and apply this over here and I'm going to show you how to counter rotate the FFD. Let's go and select the FFD. Let's make it a child of the object we want to deform and make sure that it's centered. And let's leave the rotation as it is in this current frame because I want it to be aligned with the bottom, whatever that bottom is. So I want to make my FFD object smaller. It's going to be, let's uh, make this uh, 22 and about 66 and 66. Just make sure that the whole object resides within the tire. So let's go here and you can see that everything is within the tire FFD. Excellent. Now, what I'm going to do is I want to make sure that the only part that deforms is a very, very thin slither of the tire. So just go to this grid points option and add maybe 20 of these. And now let's go to our rectangle selection, select this and go to points mode, select these and bring them up. And there you go. You have your flat patch. Let's go to the side view. Excellent. And if you want, you can adjust it so it's a bit flatter here, depending on what you want to do. Because if I rotate it, this is what happens. I need to make sure that the rotation from the animated component of the wheel, which in this case is the front wheel, this is what rotates using that expresso. You can see it's rotating. All I have to do is counter rotate this so that it always rotates in the opposite direction. So let's go here, right click on the parameter I want to invert and select expressions, set driver, and go here and do the same right click expressions, set driven absolute, and let's go to the new expresso that was made here, select the range mapper and click reverse. Close this and now it's going to move in the reverse direction, thus allowing us to have the patch always at the same spot. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.